Make sure you follow me on social media to get updates and ask me questions. Enjoy the video! We already know how to subscribe and listen to events, and as we said, this is a nice way to decouple the logic in your application since one event can have multiple listeners. Now let's see a couple of new things regarding events. So we have this send activation code listener. For now, we do not have any kind of logic here. However, this listener will definitely send an activation code to the user. It might be via an email, phone, it doesn't really matter. The thing is that this listener will take some time to respond, probably one, two seconds maybe when it comes to send an email. Now imagine that you have hundreds of registrations in your system per minute. You do not really want to use your listener like this because things will slow down. So for this case, we have to queue our listener. You probably listen a lot of people complaining how a server or a website is slow. Well, most of the times it might be that the server has low resources. However, there is a big chance that the implementations used by developers to do specific jobs were bad. If you do not queue jobs, then in the end, things will slow down and the website will be very, very slow. You do not want that. You also do not want to queue everything, but this specific listener right here, send activation code, we know that it will take some time to finish, so we have to queue this one. Now, in order to queue the listener, we can implement the should queue interface. By implementing this interface, then emails will be put in a queue and will be executed one after the other. This is enough when it comes to implementing queues in your listener, however, we still have to run our queue worker. We first have to configure our queue worker. Inside the config folder, you can find a queue file, a queue PHP file, and if you open that file, you will see the default settings for queues. You have different options when it comes to connection drivers, you have sync, database, redis, etc, etc. For this video, I want to use the database connection. So in the .env file, change this to database. Change the queue driver to database. I have already set this. And of course, now we need a table that will hold the jobs. I will use my docker here, docker compose exec workspace bash so let's create the migration php artisan q table the migration is created and you should have it right in the database migrations folder it is right here now we have to migrate but before i do that let me do something else first i will go back to the actually let me close this one and what i will do is to stop the containers to break them down actually docker compose down just to be sure that this change here will be propagated all right we have to move to the laradoc in your case you probably do not have to do this but i will do this just to be sure about this then i want to build my sql once again and run docker compose dash d and jinx and mysql and we need the app docker compose app okay so now let me go back to the workspace do i have this ready here no docker compose exec workspace bash okay now let's migrate php artisan migrate the jobs table was migrated and if i go to my sql pro i refresh the tables we have the jobs right here excellent okay so now let's go back to the log file make sure that this is empty and i will register once again so because i have a new migrations everything is empty in my case i can just go and say renato and secrets okay as you can see, we are registered and we have, let me close this one, remind me tomorrow. And as you can see, we are logging just the role, no activation. However, if you go to the SQL Pro and you refresh the table, you should have this job right here. 
So we are queuing this job, however this job is not executed yet, and the reason why is because we are not running the queue worker. So by running the queue worker, the worker will go to this jobs table, will see all the jobs that are queued, and will run them one by one. Now in order to run the queue worker, you have to say php artisan queue work. So the queue worker right now is running and it executed this send activation code job. And if we go back to the table, I refresh, you see that there is no jobs anymore. This is now an empty table because the job was executed. And you can see the log right here as well. At this point, we are using one queue for everything. You can have multiple queues though, one for sending emails, another one for manipulating images, but we are going to have a specific video in queues. For now, this is enough. But you should know that multiple queues are a better practice. You do not want to use the same queue to send emails and manipulate images. At this point, we just want to learn how to queue listeners that require some heavy processing. Now, the moment we run the queue, you saw that the queue worker processed the job. So, because the queue is running, the next time we register, so let me log out, and I will register once again. I press register, and because the worker now is running, you can see that we get it right here immediately without having any kind of lag. And of course, the activation was also logged right here in the Laravel log file. And the table is empty again because the worker is currently running. So the moment you press register, the worker will go inside this table, the jobs table. It will see what works, what jobs he has to perform, will perform them, and pretty much everything is done asynchronously, so you do not see any kind of lag. And of course, when jobs are executed asynchronously, do not slow down your server. As a result, your website will always be very, very fast.